Lesson 1, Principles of Design What's in? Art can be seen in all aspects of life. It is everywhere. It can be seen in our surroundings, the popular feelings about art galleries in a world by itself, which are accessible only to those who can afford to pay for its enjoyment, or to the critics and scholars who take time to study the art and object of the art. What's new? Activity 1A, we have direction. Analyze the image at the center, then answer the questions provided in each quadrant. Write your answer in your note. So here is the image. As you can see, we have here description, analysis, interpretation, and judgment. So this was created by Vincent Van Gogh. On uh, 1889, he used oil paint, and the title is Static. So, description What are the things do you see in the artwork? Second question Describe each of the things seen in the artwork. About the analysis, what elements of art were used by the artist? Which among the principles of design were used by the artists? Did they use unity and variety, repetition and rhythm, balance, contrast, scale and proportion, or emphasis and subordination? Interpretation What do you think does Vincent van Gogh wants to imply in his artwork? Next is the title Starry Night appropriate to the image? Why? And for judgment, is this piece of artwork worthy of appreciation? Why? Or why not? How is Vincent van Gogh as an artist? What is it? The word design indicates both the process of organizing visual elements and the product of that process. It is a result of our basic need for meaningful order. Some designs are so well integrated that they have qualities beyond a mere sum of their parts. Such are said to be beautiful, interesting, absorbing, or surprising. Art and beauty can be expressed in many ways in natural beauty of huge old trees or in the created beauty of a painting of those trees like in the work of Van Gogh, large plain trees. Depicted in his works are the principles of design that made his work beautiful, fascinating, and expressive. There are six principles of design, unity and variety, balance, emphasis and subordination, contrast, repetition and reading, and scale and proportion. Read information provided below. Then do the activities and assessments prepared for you to do. A. Unity and variety. Unity refers to the appearance or coordination of oneness of an artwork. All the elements such as line, color, texture, and others belong together that result in having a coherent and harmonious whole. As variety provides diversity yet, it acts as counterbalance to extreme unity. So we have here, Going Home, by Jacob Lawrence, and the Immigration Series, also by Jacob Lawrence.
The visual themes were established with the use of lines, shapes, and colors. The main figures and the objects in the complex compositions of Lawrence formed a unified design to the artist's skillful use of attraction, theme, and variation. B. Balance It is the condition in which acting influences are held in check by opposing forces, or what it is the left side should appear on the right side, also in order to achieve equilibrium. The near or exact matching of left and right sides of a three-dimensional form or a two-dimensional position is called symmetrical balance. Two sides which are not the same is asymmetrical balance. So here are the examples. Chariot by Alberto Diagomesi and the Evening Glow of the Ando by Suzuki Haranobu. A symmetrical balance can be seen in the wheels of the chariot in Giacometti's bomb, where the slim figure that serves as a vertical attach on an invasion. On the other hand, Aranovus figures on a wood black paint. A symmetrical balance was achieved with one figure sitting and the other standing. Both heads of the figure bends to the center. Letter C Emphasis and Subordination. To draw our attention to an area or areas, the artist used emphasis to create emphasis, position, contrast, color, intensity, and size can be can be used. Neutral areas of lesser interest are created by artists through subordination to keep us from being distracted from the areas of emphasis. So here is the example, Jack Approaching the Cost by Joseph Mallard William Turner. Letter D, Contrast. The just a position of strongly similar elements is called contrast. Dark set against light, large against small. Bright colors against dull are examples of comforts. Visual experience becomes monotonous without comfort. Contrast can be seen also in the thick and thin areas of a single brush stroke. So we have here luster painted ball stain. In place, earthenware painted in cobalt blue and plastic. E. Repetition and Reading The repetition of visual elements gives the composition of unity, continuity, flow, and emphasis. And we have here Maesta or Maesta of Duccio or Duccio di Buendisegna. With him in the visual art is created through the regular recurrence of elements with repeated variations. And Last is letter F, scale and proportion. The scale is the relation of one thing to another. It is one of the first decisions an artist makes when planning a work of art. Proportion is the size relationship of parts to a whole.
As you can see in our teammates, we have Zapatistas by Jose Clemente Orozco. Okay, see you soon. Thank you for listening. Always keep safe. Your teacher, I'm Emil Emerus.